Hey dudes, I'm going to show you how to add music in your DVD menus. But first, we need to prepare the music that will be used on your DVD menu because it may be too long or too loud. So, we'll be using Audacity. You've already seen the Audacity basics tutorial I have uploaded a few days ago, so I think you will be accustomed to Audacity right about now. I'm going to open a file. Let's go to File, Open. I'm going to choose this track. And let it import. Let's hit play so we can listen to it. Whoa, that is way too loud. <laughs> so, since it's way too loud for the DVD menu, because usually DVD menus don't really have that loud music while you're playing just the menu, because usually the only thing you want it loud is the video itself. So, I'm going to lower the gain to negative 12 decibels. And let's hit play again by hitting space or clicking the play button. Now that sounds a little better, but this is way too long for a DVD menu. I'm going to choose a part of this to be cropped off or just cut off. I'm going to choose this part and let me try to drag it to the end. And let's hit the delete key because I don't want to use any part of that. Now let's zoom in. Let's zoom into the whole project by using this fit to project button. Click it. Now you will see the whole part, which is just about over 19 seconds. I'm going to need to fade out the music because I don't want it to loop over and it sounds a little bit weird. So I'm going to select this part of the audio. Then go to Effect, go to Fade Out. Now let's play the whole file again by clicking the Skip to Start so we can start from the beginning. And hit Play. Or just hit your space button. That sounds perfect for a DVD menu. Well, we need to export it first. Let's go to File, Export Audio. Going to I'm going to name it Digital Solitude Short because it's a shorter version of the original. Hit save. But first, we need to clear the metadata because we're saving it into WAV file. We don't want Audacity giving us an error. Click OK. Now, let's open DVD Styler. Then double click on your prepared DVD menu, which you already know how to do. Double click on the background. Then, on the audio part, click the ellipsis button. Now let's choose the music you want to use. Go and choose this. Then we can have an option to loop the audio or not to loop it. But I want to loop it, so it will always play over and over. Go to click. Just make sure it's looped. If you want it to loop, then click OK. Now let's preview the DVD. Let's go to burn. Then. Always hit the preview button so you ha always have the ability to have the preview. And I chose the custom video player. I'm using VLC Portable because I don't want to install VLC directly to my computer. But if you have VLC or Media Player Classic, you can always do that. I'm going to create an ISO image because I don't want to just generate a folder because I don't want to be not ready to be an ISO yet. And I don't want to burn it because I don't have a DVD right now on my DVD slot and click start. All we need to do is just wait. Now it opens VLC portable. As you can see, the menu works and has a background music that, was really, that you, you will really like. And after the music stops, it will start over again. Then let's close the player. Do you want to create an ISO image of this video? Sure do. Or if you're not satisfied with the music, or how it sounds, or you don't want to loop it, 
but you ended up looping it, you can always say no. I'm going to click yes, because I like this. Generating was successful. Let's close it. And that's how to add music on DVD menus on DVD Styler, and using Audacity to prepare the audio for that. So anyways dudes, I'm New Creator, see you later.